What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you, but don't worry, I've got a normal project video coming up next week. If you don't know, I did a video a couple weeks ago about a giveaway I'm doing to help pay for a brand new saw stop table saw for my shop. And in this video, I am going to announce the winner of the giveaway. I'm also going to show you what's going on in my shop and a couple little update things. So I want to give a huge thank you to everybody that purchased tickets. Greatly appreciated. I raised a lot more money than I thought I was going to uh, for my new table saw. That table saw is going to be here in about a week and a half. So you guys will see that uh, probably not in the next video, but in the one after that, you'll get to see my brand new saw stop. Congratulations to Al Benjamin for winning the Walnut Bowl. You'll be getting that in a few days and I hope you like it. Al bought four tickets and it was his fourth ticket that won the bowl. The giveaway is currently closed, but I will be doing probably another giveaway soon, which you won't have to buy tickets for. It'll be a completely free giveaway. So definitely make sure that you go ahead and get subscribed to the channel. Hit that bell icon so that way you get notified whenever I post a new video. And that way you won't miss out on the next giveaway. Now let me show you what I've got going on in my shop. I'm working on these really nice big end grain butcher blocks. Uh, today I have to cut the borders trim these down and glue the end grain walnut borders on them and I think that gives it a really cool look but these are butternut, walnut, ash, maple, cherry, uh, and white oak so lots of different colors in there. This is the big stand that I'm working on for my new saw stop table saw. As you can see on the left we're going to have storage. Uh, it's going to have to get casters on the bottom. Uh, the saw will sit on top and over here is going to be a big dust collection bin so I'm going to have a hose running from the back of the saw around the side into this dust collection bin and you guys will see how I do that in the next video. That video making the whole stand and the dust collection system will be out in the next couple days. And up here is the panel that goes on the front of the dust collection bin. Piece of half inch plywood with just a little piece of plexiglass in the back so that way you can see how much sawdust is in there and if you need to empty it. It has a bead of hot glue along the bottom that is dry to help it seal against the uh, stand. And it's got a lot of different screws on here so that way you can get a really nice tight seal. I'll have a lot more information about making this and all the dimensions and specifics in my next video. And a quick little update on the grinder um, Wolverine system that I made last week. Uh, it's working really, really well. I use it to sharpen all my tools. Um, after mentioning in the video that I was having some trouble getting a good grind on the bowl gouges, I decided to go ahead and purchase a Wolverine one-way uh, very grind. And this is the tool uh, that you use to sharpen the bowl gouges. And that lets you get a really, really nice swooping curve and nice grind on the end of the bowl gouges. If you didn't see the video on making this and you want to, I'll link it down in the description box down below. Down at my wood pile, this is where I cut up bull blanks and stuff from logs. We recently went to a friend's house and he had a ton of cherry burl uh, that he wanted to give me. So we went down there with the truck, picked up an entire truckload of cherry burl. And as you can see, as you can see here, we've got a lot of really nice burl. Uh, I'm very, very grateful for all this burl. I'm going to make some really nice stuff out of it. Uh, but you really can't get any better than that, guys. So very excited to turn some nice burl bowls out of that. If you want to see uh, the bowls when they are finished, definitely be sure to follow me on Instagram, Seth Custom Creations. I'll put the name on the screen there for you. Um, but I do a lot of really nice stuff out of the burl, and it just turns out so darn gorgeous. Over at my wood storage area, this is just my dimension lumber. I did a little lumber yard run the other day. I got a whole bunch of walnut. I got some maple, some more walnut, cherry ash, and white oak. This is all going to become cutting boards for craft fair season up near Christmas. I got some burl up here. All of this wood up here is just figured wood. You can see curly maple. Got some figured walnut, some white oak. And uh, we just got a lot of stuff, a lot of wood. And uh, I've got a lot of projects to make with all this. And so guys, that's kind of my weekly shop update giveaway winner thing. I kind of did it Matthew Cremona style, if you know what I'm talking about. Tell me if you guys like this video format style, just to kind of weekly shop updates, and then also the weekly projects. I did enjoy making this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Again, huge thank you to everybody who purchased tickets to win the bowl and helped me pay for my new saw stop table saw, which you guys will be seeing very soon, like I said. And congratulations to Al Benjamin for winning. Definitely go check out my website. I've got a lot of cool projects on there and you definitely are going to want to check them out. I've also got some more information about me and some other stuff you might be interested in. So definitely be sure to go check out my website. The link will be in the description box down below. I'll see you guys next week.